Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to my channel, Learn Math with Sayyad Ali. Today we will be dealing with a topic called Maps and Scale. So if you see any map um, and to indicate or to show higher or longer distances on the map, we always take some scale to represent that higher value of the measurement. For example, if uh, we have uh, a school in the library and the school is here, library is here, in the distance between the school and library is, for example, we say 100 kilometer, right? 100 kilometer, let's say, take an example, right? Now, 100 kilometer we cannot show on the map. That So, we take some scale to reference that 100 kilometer on the map. That reference or division factor is called scale. That is also a ratio of the scale what we draw on the map to get the actual measurement with that ratio. So the scale is a ratio. So for example, on this map, if it is written that the ratio is 1 is 200,000, 1 is 200,000 centimeter, right? That means 1 centimeter is representing 100,000 centimeter, right? 100,000 centimeter. So this is, if this is my reference or this is my scale or this is my proportion or ratio, right? This is my ratio. How I am showing on the map? So if this is my map and I am showing school and library as 100 kilometer, right? I know the distance. I know the actual distance between school and library and why I want to show it on the map. So on the map, I am saying that I am taking one centimeter as 100,000, right? One centimeter as 100,000. So if one centimeter is 100,000, that means 100,000 means 100,000 means that means one centimeter is equals to 100 kilometer, right? 100 kilometer because thousand is kilometer, right? So this is kilo, right? So if you can also take it like this, as if I want to make it meter and then kilometer, I can make that like that, right? So if my school is, for example, let's take a, another example, maybe. So if my school is represented on this map as two centimeter, for example, two centimeter. So, and the, my, my, my scale is one is two hundred thousand or one centimeter is hundred thousand. So what is the actual distance between the school and the library? One centimeter is 100,000, right? So it's, we are measuring it and seeing, oh, this is two centimeter. So if it is two centimeter, then we say, okay, that means the actual distance between the school and library is two times 100,000 or two hundred thousand or two into 10 to the power five in terms of exponent, because we also learn exponent. These are all the same thing as per my scale, if it is two centimeter. If it is five centimeter or three centimeter or four centimeter, we do the same thing. If this is four centimeter, what we say? Actually, this is not the measurement. Uh, the measurement or the actual measurement can be achieved by multiplying this measurement on the, on the map with the multiplier or with the scale. That is called scale. So if it is four centimeter, what is my actual measurement here? Actual measurement in this case will be, will be, you have to measure it or measurement is given. So if a measurement is given four centimeter, then you multiply it with the scale. What is scale is? One centimeter is 100,000 centimeter, right? So it's four, four centimeters. So it will be 400,000 centimeter, right? 
you can say that okay this school is four centimeter or you can say another point here is the is the church is two kilometer from here so if church is two kilometer we can find out how much actual distance between the library and the church right so you the student can face any problem but they have to see what the actual measurement is and what is written as the scale a scale sometimes representing like a ratio one is 200,000 and sometimes is written like an equation so in both way um, a student have to take care of this that what is the measurement or if the ratio is given an actual measurement is known that is also another case right so one of the practice for a student is let's see these three things and let's make the um, make it a question if you understand it so school and library we did this is four centimeter library and church you can say two two centimeter right so two centimeter we measure it two centimeter so we, we calculate two centimeter times hundred thousand so we have two into ten to the power if we want to represent this distance between library and church into meter what we do okay meter will be a little less how much less hundred times right one meter has hundred centimeter one meter has hundred centimeters so that means my meter will be 10 to the power 3 so if I say oh okay if question says okay tell me the distance between the library and the church in kilometers so first I have centimeter because on my scale it was centimeter so first I find out 200,000 centimeter then I convert it into meter and now I have to convert it into kilometer what is the relationship between meter and kilometer so thousand meter is equals to one kilometer that means i have to divide by thousand this thing right when i divide by thousand thousand means 10 to the power three so you have to divide this meters by 10 to the power three so you will get two kilometer so you have all those relevant answers the way it can it it can be asked in different ways right so the the thing which we need to understand is if on the map you have certain measurement and you have the scale or the ratio by which it is shown because the actual measurement we cannot show on the map so we have the scale or the ratio to which it is drawn so if it is drawn like with the ratio of one centimeter is equals to hundred thousand centimeter and it is shown here that a school and library is at four centimeter distance library and church is two centimeter distance and uh, this school and church is 3.5 centimeter distance let's say right so how much how actual distance between church and school actual distance right so actual distance between church and school right so this is the question so what you need to do you need to measure you need to measure the distance by the scale or the ruler it shows that it is 3.5 and then you have to multiply this 3.5 centimeter times the scale what is the scale one centimeter is hundred thousand centimeter but you are measuring 3.5 so 3.5 times 3.5 uh, times hundred thousand right so we can say 3.5 or 35 right because now if we have five zeros one two three four five five zeros right i have five zeros but in front of 3.5 but when i replace this point right so i increase it to 35 so i have to reduce one zero this we learned before right so in this way we can we can measure the distance actual distance because we know that scale is there how much we reduce how much what proportion what ratio we need to take to represent that particular distance on the map so that particular ratio which we derive to represent any particular distance on the map is called scale right actual distance between so we can find out actual distance so question can be asked in any way okay 
so if the school and if the school and church distance is different right you measure it so and then you multiply it by so we did it in our example as 3.5 right so 3.5 times 100,000 right we get the distance between school and church so another example on these kind of questions can be asked uh, let me raise this so that I can give you another example. So what a student need to understand is that we cannot represent the whole big distance on the map. Therefore, we take a ratio and that ratio is called scale of the map. That is scale is reducing that amount to show it onto the map. So now uh, another question is actual distance. Let's say now actual distance is given. Actual distance between two cities, between two cities A and B is 120 kilometer. Let's say now this is given the actual distance and we have to show it on the map. So if the A is here and B is here, right? So this is shown. But what is known is 120 kilometer rep represented as 5 centimeter, right? 120 kilometer is represented as 5 centimeter. Let's say 5 centimeter is here. So A to B, the city A to B is 120 kilometer, but it is written or it is shown on the map as 5 centimeter. What is the scale of the map? Question is, what is the scale of the map so what is given two things are given 120 kilometer and we can also measure if this five centimeter is not given we can measure it how how much is it right so we can measure it and then we can say okay if it is 120 kilometer is shown as 120 kilometer is five so that means five centimeter representing me 120 kilometer that means one centimeter representing me 120 divided by five. So that means one centimeter representing on the map is 24 kilometer, right? So we determine that what is the scale of the map. So my scale is, my scale is one centimeter is, one centimeter is equals to 24 kilometer, right? What information was given? Information was given that actual distance between the two cities was 120 kilometer and when we measure it on the map, it was 5 centimeter. So we determine that 1 centimeter is equals to 24 kilometer, which is my scale of this map. Now, based on this information, if I have another city, which is maybe P here. Right? Another city is here and this is measuring this is measuring 4.5 centimeter. Right? This is another city which is C, which is 4.5 centimeter. So what is the actual? Okay, so find out if city C is measured on the map, measured on the map as 4.5 centimeter right what is the actual distance between city a and c what is actual distance between city a and c so for now we know the scale so what we need to do 4.5 centimeter is given and one centimeter is 24 kilometer. So we multiply together and we get 108 kilometer. So the distance between city A and C will be 108 kilometer. So if another city is located, for example, from city C to B, right? And when we measure it, it comes out as 3.5 centimeter, right? So what we have to do now, question is saying if city C, if distance, actual distance, right? If distance between city 
C and B measured on the map. Measure on the map is 3.5 centimeter. What is the actual distance between these two cities? What is actual distance between city C and B? City C and B. So these type of questions, the student must take note that if we have the scale, so we have to measure the distance first by the ruler and then multiply with the scale. So now the city's distance measured on the map was 3.5 times scale was 1 centimeter equals to 24, so times 24. And then we have to have multiply that and we will get 84 kilometer. So distance between th these two cities actually is 84, but my scale is 1 centimeter is equals to 24. Therefore, I showed it on the map as 3.5 centimeter away. So this question can also be asked um, as a B part. For example, now we say that another city, city P, anything like alphabet, is just the indication on the map. Another city P is located at 132 kilometers from city B. Plot that city on the map. Plot that city on the map. Right? So, we now have another city which is 132 kilometer from the city B. Right? So, 132, I cannot represent 132 kilometer unless I use the same scale which is known to me that 1 centimeter is 24 kilometer. So, 132 divided by 24 which gives me 5.5 centimeter. So, which way I have to draw it? So another city which is which is city P and it is 132 kilometer right so how far how, how we will draw that city on this map so we know the scale and we have to divide it so if the quantity is given actual quantity is given we have to divide with the scale and if we have to find out the actual kilometers or actual quantity then we have to multiply with the scale because the scale gives you a, a, a ratio to which it has been reduced to show it on the map so hope you like the video if you like it uh, press the bell icon button subscribe my channel to receive another video thank you for watching